Hello everyone, welcome to the Works. My name's James and today we'll be working on my Thomas Tank layout again. This time we're adding the final few little bits of details and tidying a few things up as well as well at it. So things which we'll be working on today. Well first of all, uh, I'll be adding a handle uh, to uh, the fiddle yard side of the layout because uh, it'll make it a lot easier to pull the layout from underneath my bed. So yeah, first things first. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll be adding uh, this little signal which uh, I've got from uh, an unused layout now. So uh, be using that because, uh, well, even though it's not a working one, I figured a little signal over by the station would uh, look quite nice. Uh, I've got a few other little decoration bits. Uh, I've got some vehicles. So I've got a uh, Morris commercial van, a uh, Austin 7 Tourer. Uh, those will just be two little random cars here there about the layout. Uh, I've got a Bedford coal lorry with some crew that'll be going obviously by the uh, ooh, out of focus, there we go, by a little uh, coal pile there. And uh, even though I did try to find a 3D model, uh, I haven't found a good one yet, but I'll be making this um, Bedford bus into Bertie the bus. As best I can anyway, it'll be at least painted red and looking the part, and he'll stay probably probably around here by the station really. Don't actually have a bus stop, but he can live over by there. So yeah, that's uh, the little extra little bits of models. Uh, I'll be adding some more lights because I figured we haven't actually got any street lights. So uh, I'll be adding a couple of street lights, uh, just a few dotted down the street, maybe a little light on this uh, halt, and maybe one on the station. Depends on what's actually underneath the station because I can't remember. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, a few little lights here and there, and I'll get them wired in. And while I'm down there, I'm also going to be uh, checking up on some of the electrics because. Last time I ran the layout, I did notice that some of the uh, point motors weren't working properly. So, uh, yes, I'll definitely need to check on them, uh, on the wires. Speaking of wires, uh, I'll also be adding the telegraph pole wires. So I've got my usual cotton string here, and I'll be threading that through as well. And lastly, just to finish things off, I'll be adding a bit more, well, hopefully adding a bit more detail to the little river. So I've been suggested to get some Mod Pods, which is uh, some, uh, which is a type of glue. So I've got some matte Mod Pods and some gloss Mod Pods, which is awkward to say. So yes, I've got two types. I can't remember which way it goes around. I need to double check this, but I think it's put the matte on first. You know, just stipple it just to make the effect, and then just on top of that, add some gloss Mod Pods to add a bit of a gloss shimmer to the water. And uh, yeah, I'll just see how that works really. Only got a little bit of it because I don't think I really need too much of it. But uh, yes, that'll be uh, the last thing to do. But uh, yeah, first thing I'm doing is adding this uh, handle. And then I'll probably put some of these vehicles together and get them sprayed and getting them ready to be painted a bit later on. And while that's all drying, I'll get the string and sort that out, glue that down, sort these out, and lastly, the Mod Pod. And eventually at some point, fixing the wires underneath. So yeah, that's the plan, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Right, here we are, pretty much all the things done, apart from the wiring, because, uh, well, I figured you probably wouldn't be all that interested in watching me, uh, well, being underneath the layout and wiring, because uh, I need to use a bit of wood to prop up the layout, so I don't squash myself. So, um, yeah, I've I've skipped that till last. Um, that can be uh, off camera. But, yeah, I've pretty much got all the things done. Uh, let me just show you, I'll start from here, so, um... Yeah, put a uh, little light here because I uh, figured this little halt would be well, probably need a little bit of lighting. Another little light here, another one there. We've got a little vehicle down there which seems a tad small, but uh, I'm trusting that it is in scale. Uh, same with that little vehicle there. That one seems a bit better. Uh, I found out that the bus which I bought doesn't quite look like. Uh, Bertie the bus, but uh, if we squint, we can make it look like Bertie the bus. Um, <laughs> uh, I've got enough of a little light over there, enough of a little light there, and one over here. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, let's see, I've got uh, the river sorted out. I have used the Mod Pod, however, I'm still. Eh, it's looking better. I do say that it does look better with the uh, rough finish however I'm not too sure on using uh, the gloss or the matte uh, mods pods or how to mix them together to make it look better it's my first time having a go but uh, still it's turned out better and uh, yeah very happy with it uh, what else was there I think that's pretty much most of it uh, because the only other thing left is to sort out the wiring which uh, I've got ready with some extra wire, the uh, shrink, uh, heat shrink, and my heat gun, and uh, that will be getting to work. A few things which I have forgotten to add, which is first of all, I need to add the uh, sign to uh, Thomas Cousins over here, but that will be done. Uh, that won't be too difficult to do as I've got my printer over there. Uh, let's see, I need to add the little people to the bowling green that they have been bought. They will appear eventually. Um, <laughs> they're still in the post. And same with the pig pen. And the pigs. So they will be eventually here as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it really. So I just need to add some pigs, their little house, uh, some people on the bowling green, and the uh, sign on the Tom, uh, Thomas Cousins. And that's pretty much it, really, other than more people here and there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Oh, and uh, do the wiring, but uh, I'll be doing that over the weekend. So, uh, yeah, I don't like doing wiring. <laughs> One of the most annoying things. The only thing that's take uh, beats for that is doing the ballasting, and uh, I really hate doing that as well, but, uh, oh well. Oh, I also need to do some cleaning, but uh, yeah. But that is pretty much it for the layout. I can't think of what else to add. However, if I think of it, there'll be small little things added here and there. But uh, after I've done all the wiring, you can expect to see me running some trains on this layout. And uh, yeah, be a nice thing to see on my usual monthly running sessions. Probably could tidy up oh, my foot. Probably tidy up over here, but uh, I'll just need to get some black card and just uh, paste it over and cut down this little bit here and finally cover up this hole with something. Maybe I'll put a light up here, but uh, that's maybe a bit more uh, rural or something like that. So uh, yeah, I'll leave that. Plus, trying to get a white through there, it's going to be awkward. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. And, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, and I wired up the telegraph poles. I knew I forgot something else. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, do let me know what you think. If you like it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, well, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And that's going to be it for me. So, next time you see this, the other bits should be done whenever the postman delivers them and um yeah 
And uh, next time you'll be seeing it with uh, Thomas and friends running around. Probably only be getting about to three of them on here at a time. So that's uh, Thomas, Percy and uh, Toby. Who I need to uh, DCC. So, uh, yeah. Maybe James. Here and there. But uh, just the main, uh, the usual three. Anyway, that's going to be it. And I'll see you all again next time. So take care now. Bye-bye.